Hi, my name is Mark Jager. I shoot stills, time lapse, and video. You can find some of my work at the following sites uh, down here on the bottom of the screen. There is confusion about Judder. Judder is the annoying variation that is sometimes present in video during pans. By variation, I mean jumps, shivering, jerkiness. A lot of shooters think the problem is a bad fluid head or a camera problem. It can be those things, but it might just be bad panning speed. Basically, if the displacement across the frame is too great compared to the capture frame rate, judder will occur. This tutorial will explain the principles to be considered when choosing panning speed. The principles are based upon those for film as the end products are similar. It's all about getting a good look for the pan. To demonstrate, I'm using a well-controlled camera setup. Here's mine. There's a robust tripod, a computer-driven motion control for all camera movement, a Nikon D850, I'm using 180 degree shutter, and I'm going to be panning 50 degrees in a landscape setting. So you may be saying, what the heck does judder look like? The answer is like this. Notice in this clip there is shivering and small jumps in the images. It is particularly noticeable when the background has lots of reference points near the clip end. Now filmmakers figured the judder out a long time ago. The classic minimum time considered necessary to avoid judder in film is seven seconds for a pan that crosses one horizontal field of view. This is the lens field of view, not the entire scene. This guide was considered to be independent of lens and sensor, but in truth, other parameters do influence the answer. The time for a pan is affected by the number of recording frames per second, the number of degrees to pan, the focal length of the lens, and the resolution of the sensor and a fifth one, which is the hiding factor of motion blur. Please note that the seven second guideline doesn't guarantee absence of judder, but it's a reliable starting place. Often testing is necessary. Let's discuss a bit of science to understand the parameters that influence judder. As stops of change are familiar to most photographers and videographers, I will use stops to measure the effect. Now in case you're not familiar, plus one stop doubles a parameter and minus one stop halves the parameter. Two stops is four times, three stops is eight, and so on as powers of two. The number of degrees to pan obviously influences the time to pan. If you increase the pan angle by plus one stop, the time to pan will be increased by plus one stop. Thus, panning 60 degrees requires twice as much time as 30. Now, if you change the resolution of the camera by plus one stop, then the time to pan should change by minus one stop. Let's say you were shooting 2K and you like the pan time you're using, if you change to 4K resolution, the time to pan can be decreased to half of what you were using, and you should be in the same state with respect to judder. Lens focal length affects the horizontal field of view. No controversy there. The seven second guide says that you only want to cross one horizontal field of view in seven seconds. If you're using a wide lens, the entire scene you're panning may be within one horizontal field of view. If you're using a telephoto lens, it's likely that more than one field of view will need to be crossed during the pan. Please examine this table, which is data from PhotoPills. It shows the calculated field of view for four lenses. For minus one stop in horizontal field of view of your lens, there should be plus one stop increase in the time for the pan. For example, if you're using a 38 millimeter lens and switch to an 80, the time to pan is doubled. Capture frame rate also affects judder. If you switch from 24 to 30, 
the chance of judder is reduced. If you change frame rate plus one stop, then the time to pan is reduced minus one stop. For example, if you switch from 30 to 60 frames per second, the time to pan is cut in half. Now here are some example pan times as you change key parameters. The first one shows pan angle changes. Obviously we know that that's going to increase the pan time. Resolution also follows the same rule only the numbers are going to increase as you go down in resolution. Focal length is another one that's fairly easy. As you increase the focal length, the panning time goes up dramatically. Same thing with recording frame rate. If you increase the number of frames per second, the panning rate goes down. If you combine changes, for example a camera change where focal length, camera resolution, and frame rate all change, you need to combine the changes. Now the math may be uh, getting ugly and you might want to use a pan rate calculator. There's an excellent calculator at red.com, the website for the RED digital camera. On their support page Motion picture film has a resolution in the neighborhood of 6.5 to 7K. Factor that into what you see in the calculations. Also, when you use the RED calculator, you need to decide which RED configuration matches your camera. For my D850, I am three quarters of the way between a RED Helium and the RED Monstro in terms of sensor diagonal. So I did a little interpolation math and went three quarters of the way between the number for Helium and that for Monstro. A well-known fact is shutter speed controls motion blur. The 180 degree rule gives a good balance between smeared, smooth, and crisp images. If you use shutter speeds faster than the 180 degree rule, freezing the action more, judder is more likely to show. However, fast pans and slow shutter speeds may be just what you want. You're driving the boat and you must choose the look. Here are some visual examples for you to consider. In these four clips, I shot 4K UHD, ISO 64, 24 frame per second, 150th shutter, F10, 50 millimeter lens, and a 50 degree pan. The clips were shot at 10, 13, 17, and 24 second pans. The 17 second clip is the calculated safe time from the red calculator. You can see the judder reduce as the panning speed slows. There is no stabilization in post-processing in any of the examples, but I did color grade. In these three clips, I changed frame rate and shutter speed. I shot 2K, ISO 64, 60 frame per second, 1 1 25th shutter, F10, 50 millimeter lens, 50 degree pan. The clips were shot at 10, 13, and 16 seconds of pan. Again, the judder is reduced as the panning speed slows. The bottom line is, Make your own choice of panning time to get the look you want. Consider the resolution, frame rate, horizontal field of view, pan angle, and shutter speed. If you see judder, adjust one or more of the parameters to the conservative side. Now, I hope this tutorial helps you. Doing the research and shooting the examples helped me. I encourage you to experiment as well to understand how this really works. Please hit that subscribe button if you didn't already. Thanks for watching. I made this video for you.